Before watching this, please see the following videos if you haven't already done so. Hi everyone. At 2 minutes 46 seconds begins the 14th repeat of Matheny's solo. The solo's 14th 12 bar cycle begins with the ascending parallel interval idea discussed in the previous video, which concludes here over G minor 7 harmony, with Matheny once again using the major 3rd over a minor chord. Through these bars, Matheny is again essentially using chord notes embellished with various harmony and non-harmony notes. Here, for example, C7's root note, 3rd and 5th degrees are used. Here, F major 7's 7th, 3rd and root note. Here, F minor 7's 5th and 7th, and so on. From this G flat note, the 7th of A flat 7 harmony, Matheny begins a long range line which initially descends to this G, the 5th of C minor 7 harmony, the initial chord of the following 12 bar cycle. The line then continues to end on B flat, the 3rd of this G minor 7 chord. Beginning over this F major 7 chord, Matheny uses another parallel interval idea, which is here connected to the notes of this ascending long range line leading to F, the 3rd of D flat major 7 harmony. Here, parallel thirds, both major and minor, are used, the lower notes of which create a second line running parallel with the upper. The notes of both lines are taken from the ascending and descending forms of the C melodic minor scale with the inclusion of D flat over E flat minor 7 and D flat major 7 harmony. From this F begins a short descending line which ends at the beginning of the following 12 bar cycle on G, the 5th of C minor 7 harmony. The notes of this line are the same as the section of the long range line Matheny used in the final bars of the previous cycle. Throughout the following 12 bar cycle, where Matheny paraphrases large sections of the head, his lines are again essentially constructed of chord notes or their alterations. For example, here the major third is used over this G minor 7 chord, and here this D natural over D flat major 7 harmony. In this instance, the D note is part of a parallel chord idea, where this B minor 7 chord descends to B flat 7. In this example, this lower D note, the third of both parallel chords, is used as the common note between them. Here, Matheny also uses anticipations to preempt the F minor 7, E flat major 7, E flat minor 7, and D flat major 7 chords. In each case, it's the third of the chord which is anticipated, and in these instances, after the anticipation is sounded, Matheny descends to the chord's root note. In anticipation also preempts the third of the C7 harmony in the initial bars of the following cycle. Through these bars Matheny uses another parallel chord idea, which here uses ascending major triads, beginning with an F major triad over F major 7 harmony, and concluding with a B flat triad over this B flat 7 chord. Through the final bars of the cycle, Matheny uses essentially the same line as he used here over the corresponding progression in the previous cycle. Here, however, he concludes this descent on G flat and modifies the final ascent to end on F instead of G. Beginning the following 12 bar cycle, Matheny uses this figure sequentially before introducing another parallel interval idea over F major 7 harmony. Here parallel thirds are again used, which essentially embellish the third and fifth degrees of the F major 7 chord. This idea is then briefly continued over the following F minor 7 harmony, where its seventh and fifth degrees are approached from above by semitone. Through these bars, Matheny is again essentially using chord notes and the solo's modified rhythmic motif. After beginning the solo's final 12 bar cycle using a melodic line consisting of half notes, Matheny continues using a combination of second inversion triads, first inversion diminished chords, chord fragments built of fourth intervals, seventh chords without their thirds, 
and chord clusters of various intervals. The result of using these various chord types over the underlying progression introduces alterations and extensions such as the 9th and 11th over C minor 7 harmony, the 9th, 11th and flat 13th over G minor 7 harmony, the flat 9th and 9th over C7 harmony, and so on. Matheny then concludes his solo with this chord shape, which sounds the 3rd, 7th, 9th and 11th of the following cycle's initial C minor 7 chord. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.